Okay, so I'm trying this new tire inflator that I got on Amazon on my car. Need uh, the rears need 30 psi uh, according to the information. So I'm gonna try 30 psi. Now it so happens that uh, this particular tire keeps seeming to lose tire pressure so i filled it maybe two weeks ago or something to 30 psi and i also want to check if it's still 30 psi or if it has lost tire pressure compared to the other tires so this is the smart air pump i got it at a good price on amazon and I think you can set the tire pressure and this connector is what's probably the right connector to use uh, there are these other supplied connectors probably for bikes and things like that well the bikes use the same type of uh, connector as cars and hopefully this fits Um, so it comes in the box and the manual and these connectors but this let's see if this works the same connector and, um, okay so first things first Power it on. Yeah. And it's set to bike. I'm not sure if that matters. Baseball. Car. Okay. And right now it's showing. I think it also measures the pressure so right now it's showing 0 psi let's connect it and see what it shows and it's showing 24.5 psi so it's definitely lost pressure in the last couple of days so it's a windy day so all this away. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's definitely lost air pressure. So I'm gonna refill it to 30 psi. Okay, and uh just gonna put this aside because it's getting blown away by the wind. Okay, so back to this. Well, I think you can set set it to thirty psi. So I'm gonna set it using this minus button. 30 psi and set it mode car I'm not sure why it's showing me these other units. This is probably a LED light and some USB ports for charging and also a USB port for if you want to use the charger. I'm not sure exactly how to use this. Off. Turn it on again. 
They're showing me the pressure in bars, but I want it in PSI. So I set KPA kilograms per centimeter square PSI. There we go. 30 PSI. 31. I want to set it to 30. Okay, and how do I get it to inflate? Keep probably keep there you go. Actually, I stop it because I want to set it to car mode and set it to 30 psi, and I press this one. stop finally it took a while to stop and I don't know how to activate this if this is a light flashlight or something but yeah it seems quite nice this inflator and I think I think I got it on sale for like 20 bucks or something like that so I think it's a good value so anyway disconnect it now Yeah, and it's quite a good value at for 20 bucks or something it's definitely a good value